Hello everybody and welcome to your next C Sharp XNA platformer tutorial. Uh, so in this tutorial we're going to uh, be continuing where we left off. So from before in our in our last tutorial, uh, we got our menu aligned properly and, and our menu looks nice but it doesn't really do much. Uh, so we need to be able to set menu links so they link to different things. So there's going to be three different link types. So we're going to be able to link to screens modules or other menus so we never talked about modules yet but uh we'll be getting more in depth into them later but for the load type for the attributes we're going to add in a link type and we're going to be adding in a link id uh so for this we're just going to set the link type and the link I the link type the screen and the link id the splash screen We'll just let them all link to the splash screen for now, uh, just for the purpose, for the sake of this tutorial. I mean, we'll, we'll modify it. Uh, we'll modify it in the following tutorials. So, uh, since we've added new attributes, now we gotta load in some new stuff. Uh, so before we even set that, I, we gotta make some lists. Uh, so I will add to this list of strings. So we'll say uh, link type and we'll say link id so now we got to scroll down to the load content method uh say case link type uh link type dot add uh, contents ij break case link id link id dot add contents ij okay so we got our links link id well i thought i got them set up oh i think i put them in the wrong list up here oh uh, yeah this is a double list of strings so let's erase this and put it in one of these so uh link type link id okay so we got that set up so we load in our link types and links id so how are we going to link to certain things uh well there's different methods in order to do linking but what i'm gonna do i'm gonna do it the c sharp way since we're doing we're using c sharp and xna and if you're a c plus user or something else or whatever you don't have this functionality but uh I'm going to be using the C plus this uh, this the C sharp method, and if you ever want if you if you want to learn how to do this using C plus plus, then you can watch the SFML series or or anything or or the Allegro one. So, anyways, uh, so we got our link IDs uh, set in. So we gotta go to our update, and we gotta just say I'm gonna say that if input manager dot key pressed keys uh, enter or the Z key so if they press that then we want to um, go to the to the following screen so we got to say that if link for, for now, we only have uh, one link type, only one link type set up. But we'll say that if link type is equal to screen, uh, then we're going to call screen manager dot instance dot add screen. Now, what are we going to put in here? So we're going to, oh, so it be link type I, or I mean item number. Okay, uh, so what are we going to put in there? So what we're going to do is... We're gonna call activator. No, no, sorry. We're gonna call. We're gonna cast it to a game screen type, and then we're going to put activator dot create instance, and we're gonna have to put in a type in there. So we'll say a uh, new class. So for now, we don't have anything uh, set for that yet. So what we're going to do is we're going to say type uh, new class is equal to type dot get type 
and we have to put in our our namespace so what is our namespace uh, for this so if we scroll up our namespace is xna platform or whatever you name the whatever your namespace is you you want to copy that okay so let's go all the way down all the way down to our update so it's equal to our namespace plus the link id link no namespace dot and then you put plus the link id and uh, what would that give us so then our namespace for um for the for our title screen class will be xna platformer dot whatever whatever but if if you set different namespaces for the screens like say your namespace for the screens the screen namespace then you set it to screens dot whatever the the link id okay uh so what we did here is that we're set we're creating a new type right we get that type name from the uh from we get that type name uh, from the namespaces and we store that in a new class and then we use that uh, we cast it to a game screen type and we add it to the add screen now we, we're getting the error here is because we need to place in our input manager so we place the input manager in there and so we got um we got our, our stuff set up so we're gonna do a quick test just to see if this works exactly how we want it to work so we're gonna run this and we're gonna press enter or Z uh, on the on any of the menu items and see if it shows the splash screen again okay so it says object not set oh, okay so the reason being is uh, this is a simple error is because at the top we need to set it to a new uh, 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 set it to a new list so we say link type equals new list string link id goes to new list okay so let's run this one more time okay so we got our menu now let's press the enter key okay so we got uh we got an error Okay, so I paused it and now I've unpaused it. And the thing that the, the thing I left out is that it should be item number in there. So once we run this, so if we click a menu item, it fades out, fades in with the splash screen once again, and it goes through once again. Okay, so uh, I'm going to end the tutorial there. So uh, this is a relatively easy way on how to handle um, what's going on. But just to explain what everything's going on, uh, we basically create a, a, a type and we get the type. So we get whatever type we're trying to load in. So uh, that's and we get that from the link ID and we um cast that as a game screen and then we create an instance of that uh putting it right here we create that instance and then so on and so forth uh so that's kind of like the c-sharp way on how to do it and i hope you i never confused you guys and if you want to learn more about the um the type type i guess it's the type object type or object whatever you want to call it uh then you can search that up um on the internet you'll find a lot of resources so thanks for watching this hope you enjoyed it and bye